Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video and I wanted to go into Arc 2 real quick. First off, I am stupid pumped for Arc 2 to come out. It's got some crazy stuff, some crazy new ideas and I think they are going to change the game for Arc. They've got a new trailer if you haven't seen it and a whole bunch of new news that I'm going to break down for you real quick. This is going to be a quick kind of intro into everything and I want to show you a few basic things that I noticed and I think they're trying to get. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this this clip right here and I and I, and I like this clip a lot. My dad <clears> tells <throat> stories of a terrible war that happened across the sky. Heroes fought and died to give us a chance to start over. All that I know from their earth are the creatures they send up. Now two things. One, it looks like the dodos <clears throat> literally look the same. But I want you to take a notice to that they're doing this in Unreal 5, so everything looks exponentially prettier. Just keep an eye on some of those things. Along with us. And here on Arat, every day is a fight to survive. So we do know it's now called Arat, by the way. Keep that in mind. Now this is another thing I want you to notice, just back like two scenes. See how this is pinning him down? In the later news, I want you to keep this in mind, okay? But if anyone can tame this new world, we can. And yes, that is Vin Diesel, by the way. That's pretty much all the important stuff. You can see it kind of like launches itself into the background here. It's got some cool little like scenes. But it looks amazing. So you can kind of see this whole tech in the background blending into this non techy world. It's going to be nuts. So anyways, if you haven't figured it out yet, it's not going to be released until 2023. This is the ARC website, the ARC wiki, and uh, everything's there. You can literally see it in the video right here. But I want to walk you some things and ideas that I think it's just going to make this crazy. So obviously, I just broke, broke that down just a little bit. You can see Vin Diesel is going to be the lead producer on it. There's also going to be an anime that comes out pretty soon, so that's pretty freaking cool. But what I think is nuts about this is if you look at it, some of the stuff in this game right here, survive the past, tame the future, it goes back more to a primitive state where things were scary. So Arc 2 is going to go bring us back less so much where it's just like everyone upgrades a tech and uses all these high class weapons. And you've actually got a real story developing. And everything is like dinosaur should mean more if having one should be a difficult thing, but they're also not invincible. So you got to keep that in mind. <clears throat> but if you lower the tech, that's going to make it so these things are very, very useful. Now, again, you can see this is huge. Vin Diesel, and then uh, I can't pronounce her name. I'm not going to try to, but she's from Moana. Um, and you can see that it's going to be a new story for people that play PVE, which is most of the people that play this game. It is going to be a huge upgrade. So you've got this this core game that everyone loves, but you're adding in these these very important features. Now, obviously, this is huge for everybody. They're going to have mods across the board. So literally anyone can play Xbox and PlayStation. I don't know about Nintendo, but uh you will be able to have mods, which is just going to be super cool. I like that they're switching to third person, by the way. That makes a huge difference because some people can spam abuse third person and first person mode. Third person gives you a true understanding of what's around you and gives it a more strategic thing instead of like a first person shooter style. So that third person mode is huge, especially if they kind of keep the everyone get used to it, because I think some people are going to hate it at first, but it's going to be awesome. Now, this is nuts. OK, this idea that they have kind of indicates to me that they really are moving away from technology and they're keeping it to this old school style whether you got this target lock blocking dodging combo stagger special attacks very similar to what they're saying here dark souls like melee combat i hope that's a thing now whether or not it's super good or not i think it's awesome because it can get rid of aim botters that will still be cheating across the board because that's kind of what some of the more toxic players in arc do but it's going to encourage you to actually play the game and use skill instead of just like sitting in a corner and taming something which i think is a very very important role and that's something that people need to remember by the way because it's 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 a new new game so this is a new strategy like this is not going to be your regular arc there will be the core feel to arc but they're literally changing everything about it now you can see this cool i mean that's that's a new map essentially nothing special this this is what we've been asking for for years different components to make different weapons so a spear is not just a spear you can make different types of spears different types of bows different types of shields different types of things i am stoked for this because it's going to give people a feel to what they're good at 
I'm going to tell you right now, I am not very good at sniping. However, if you give me a flamethrower and a shield, good luck. So why don't we have it so that there's like specific gear sets catered towards people? This is huge. Like this is amazing. I can't even believe this is a thing. Makes me very excited. Now this is cool too. Another more PVE centered thing, dynamic world events. This means that people are going to be able to play on smaller clusters and with their friends. We're not have to play that PVP mode that everyone seems to be so drawn into. And you can see this, there's an actual PVE force, very similar to the NPCs that people try to create in mods. And it's going to be super cool to see how those are put in there. Now, template building and sharing, I like this a lot. You can see this uh, server performance, that's huge. They, when they first made ARC, people forget this, Unreal Engine 3 is what ARC is based on, and it was made seven years ago. Seven, little almost eight at this point. And uh, that's crazy to me because it's still holding up over time. It's not perfect, but it's still holding up. So Unreal Engine 5, there are so many different changes that they can use. It's it's bonkers to me. That the, Another reason they pushed it back, they said, is they wanted to be able to use Unreal Engine 5. And I think that's awesome. You can see this right here, a new completely remapping AI because AI, I know you guys do it as much as I do. People just aggro them to a rock and the computer's like, fine, I'll go to a rock and I'll try and bite you from below. Now it's going to mean that you actually have to think about traps and other kinds of stuff like that if they rework it like they want to hide from predators with visual camouflage. That's going to be cool. If they can actually figure out how to make that work successfully, the game is going to feel real. And I, and I love to see that kind of stuff included in the game because if you have a real feeling game, people are going to want to come back for more and more. Now, character progression and skill level, I like this a lot. You can see that there's key objectives and unique challenges to gain things, and there's a skill tree. So I would assume that you have to give off skills that you can like choose pathways, essentially, to become more catered towards certain events and styles, and I think that's going to be massive. That's a huge thing that's lacking in ARC right now uh, because you kind of just got, oh, do you have a speed character, or do you have a health character, or do you have a weight character? And those are pretty much your three options or you just mind wipe out of them. I think having a true unique character skill set will bring a lot of different heads to the table, I think you might say. You can have certain people in certain clans that are good at certain things and certain people and solo players that are good for like all around builds, but not specific things. I think it's gonna be freaking awesome. You talked about this earlier, Unreal Engine 5. Now this is why I think it's cool. Unreal Engine is beautiful. If you haven't seen 5, like the stuff that they can do with that is nuts. So I'm fine waiting an extra couple of months, maybe six months to a year that they said that they were gonna release it in. Just because the amount of stuff we're gonna be able to get from this is nuts, 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 nuts. Now you can see it right here. This is a very long message. I'll boil it down to you. Basically what it, they say in this entire message is they want to make it so they've got a, they, they started out with this, this product, right? This, this game that they didn't think was going to become as big as it is. And they're super happy and they're super grateful, but they know there's a lot of stuff to fix, right? A lot. And they know that that's cool that they're actually addressing that. I know a lot of people question whether people listen to them or not, but people do listen. It hurts when you make a product and people don't like it. A lot of people love ARC, but there is a lot of room to grow. And I think that's what people misunderstand because they, you can read this whole thing. I'm not going to read it word for word, but you can see like some of the major things. Um, and, and I want you to look at this right here. Souls like action for human scale and combat for creature combat. They want to make it so attacking something with like a T-Rex or a Rex, I mean, or a Raptor or a Carno that you can see it. The results are visceral. So the animation, instead of just like going through something like currently what is going on, literally it's like tearing. So you have to like lock on and bite onto things that is going to be freaking awesome. But here's what I suspect is going to happen with it. This means that, yes, there's going to be a lot of a lot of growing pains. I don't think anyone's going to disagree with that. But it's going to mean that actually having dinosaurs is going to mean something. If you're playing PvP in Ark right now, dinosaurs mean almost squat. You're almost better off on foot than you are on a dinosaur, which is stupid to me because if you look at the advancement of humankind right now, yeah, we've got cool weapons. We've got these cool things that you could probably survive a little bit. But if a Tyrannosaurus Rex wants to get you, good freaking luck, man. Seriously, they're huge. So like, I want to feel a little bit of that fear from this because like, the, the, this is nuts. That's cool. The target physically reacts at the location and all to convey the raw power. I wonder if this means they're getting rid of the Giganotosaurus because they're saying like the T-Rex is like the pinnacle. Um, but, but you can see too many fundamental that they're just changing everything. There's hunt like a hunting system. It seems where these new creatures are going to hunt you down world map systems. I think this is cool. I think that means they're going to have different types of world maps. Um, and I just want to say that 
it's going to be super cool. Now, if you haven't seen it yet, Arc, the animated series, I am super stoked for this. They have some big names in this. Vin Diesel, uh, Michelle Yeoh, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Russell Crowe, Gerard Butler. That's nuts to me, man. Carl Urban. This is going to be so freaking cool. Not like Bob, by the way. Bob played it, but Kyle Urban. That's hilarious. Uh, Santiago is going to be awesome. But man, Arc is doing so much. I don't know how people aren't excited for it. And I, and I really would encourage you to get excited for ARC 2. You can see this was all released when Fyodor came out, but I was so busy working on Fyodor that I wanted to take a little bit of time, take a step back, and kind of see what I think about ARC 2. I am super stoked. Make sure you guys let me know what you think as well, because I'm curious. If you want to join my Discord below, kind of shoot some crap with me, please do. I'm curious. Or leave it in the comments below. That's fine, too. Uh, and I'm just curious to see what you, I'm stoked. I think Ark has a long way to grow. Ark one is in its twilight. No one's disagreeing with that, but Ark two has so much room for growth that I'm pumped. So hopefully this is something that uh, excites you guys. Cause I'm super pumped for it. And uh, other than that, teach.